So I went to university a half an hour from the Canadian border. The legal drinking age in Canada was 19 and 21 in the States, so many students crossed over to go to the bars. I didn't drink though. I was a good kid, probably a little too good and quite naive. My friends nicknamed me Safety Sarah because I didn't even jaywalk. One weekend, a few friends and I went to Canada to go to a Christian music concert. The concert ended late, after midnight, so it was about 1 in the morning by the time we reached the border back into America. When we pulled up to the immigration booth, there was nobody there. The light was green, so we decided to drive on through. When I looked out the back window, though, I saw a border guard chasing after us and waving his arms. We made a U-turn and headed back to the immigration facility. We were in big trouble. The border guard demanded to know what we were thinking. He didn't appreciate our logic that green means go. Thankfully, we were completely sober and didn't even have a criminal record. He told us that our car was now property of the U.S. government and that we should be thrown in jail. My friend started crying, but this is my mom's car, she'll kill me. That's not my problem, he said. We begged for forgiveness, but the border guard didn't budge. That is, until, like us, another car drove past the booth and didn't stop. You're lucky this time, he said, because you came back. Get out of here and don't ever do that again. He then radioed the police down the road to arrest the passengers of the other car. And I was on good behavior for about 20 years, until one fateful day at the Zimbabwean border. But that's a different story for another time.